What's going on guys and welcome to today's video and as you can see I've got a 2022 Sandblast Edition TRX sitting here behind me and no we're not just going to be doing a review. This is still the same TRX that we've been um, had or been making since 2021 so, so no we aren't just going through this thing but today I thought we would talk about the build issues that we might or might not be having. Now, if you guys didn't know, I am uh, a, a technician who works on these things every day. Um, and I, from day one, have been the only person touching um, the TRXs as they've been coming in, checking them over. And I think I'm checking them over more thoroughly than a normal person would be since I'm an owner myself. So I thought I would kind of bring you guys along. I just got done with this thing up on the lift at the shop and went through everything in hopes to see, again, what has been caught, what's been corrected on a TRX that is being built now versus when this all started back in 2021. Um, if you guys haven't seen some of my previous videos talking about some of the you know things to look at on your new truck, we'll kind of hit all of those this time. So before we get into that, maybe we will just quickly talk about this Sandblast Edition because it is the first one that I have personally got to see myself. So Sandblast Edition, um, I believe they're limited for 2022. Uh, unique paint color, which is kind of cool because it is one tone. And, uh, if, and if you guys didn't know, every TRX other than black trucks has the lower black door sill area. So this truck is all one color, pretty cool. Um, I never got to see an ignition orange limited edition truck, so this is my first um, limited or special TRX uh, that I'm getting to see. Uh, the black beadlock wheels do look really darn good. Um, I wasn't a big fan, I know I'll probably get some hate for this, but not a big fan of the optional beadlock wheels because of the two-tone, it just didn't really do it for me. But the same wheels painted all black look very good. So again, guys, if you haven't seen, this is the same, you know, factory two-tone wheel, but it is just all black and man, it looks really, really good. Um, but yeah, other than that, it is just a TRX that has a lot of, you know, options from the factory, the spray and bed liner, the utility bed rail, um, the camera, the, this is a level two with the Sandblast Edition. So it does carry a pretty, Nice price tag. Another thing it does already have is the black Rebel front lower skid plate that I had to add on my personal truck. And uh, speaking of that price tag, this does carry a window sticker of $101,000. But uh, it, it is very cool, it is unique, and um, yeah, that's, that's, that's big truck money right there. But enough talking about the truck. Let's get into what the video is actually going to be about. I've got my little sheet here of everything that I found on my initial inspection with this truck. Now, this is all the stuff that I've been looking at since day one on these trucks. Again, I would bet 99% of you guys don't have a or didn't have a technician looking this thoroughly at the trucks. I've been on the Facebook group and the TRX forum since kind of really early on before I even had my truck. So I kind of knew what we have all found with these and knew what to look for on all of these trucks as they've been coming into the dealership. So enough talking. <laughs> this is all of the stuff that I still found bad or incorrect or not up to par with this brand new, just got dropped off TRX as of today. Um, and I tried to take pictures of everything. So uh, the rear exhaust tips have been misadjusted since day one. This one wasn't that bad. They just hung down really, really low. Again, I've got some pictures kind of here. It may not show very well, but they're just hanging down further than they should be. Um, I've seen every single truck that's come in, they've either been hanging down or crooked or whatever. So I've loosened it. There's a 13 millimeter bolt loosen that, adjust the tip, tighten it down. It takes no time, it's not a big deal, but come on guys, do a little bit more quality control here on a $100,000 truck. Um, another thing that I found with this specific truck, which isn't a big deal, but just kind of a weird thing, level two trucks get the rear reclining seats, which gets you a center console there in the back. The fabric um, 
carpeted rear trim hider cover thing. I don't know what to call it. There's a couple of magnets that hold it onto the back um, wall of the bed. That wasn't clipped in from the factory. Again, not a big deal. It took me one second to clip it back up, but just another little small quality control thing going down the assembly line. It would have been nice to already have that installed correctly. Um, again, if you didn't have a thorough technician looking through your vehicle, something you would have eventually found and kind of felt, you know, a little less great. Um, another thing, again, this has been a day one issue with TRXs and again, not a massive issue, just a little nuisance that is kind of annoying wiring that connects to the frame and or the body under the vehicle. For some reason, the assembly line workers absolutely hate clipping those wiring harnesses into their clips or into the holes in the frame or the body, what have you. This one just had one connector that wasn't clipped in. Again, is it gonna cause any issues? No, absolutely not, but I'd rather have everything clipped in on my brand new truck. Um, now, two things that kind of, uh, I guess I would say this is definitely more of an issue than just a nuisance is the transfer case fluid and the front axle fluid. Now I've been harping on this again since day one with all of these trucks. If you have not checked your transfer case fluid or your front axle fluid on your truck and your dealership didn't, and they probably did not, they are going to be low. Every single transfer case that I have ever checked on a TRX has been a quarter to a half quart low on fluid. Uh, it does require special Borg Warner transfer case fluid. You can pick it up at your dealer, but I would want that full. I have filled every single one of these trucks that have come into the shop brand new off the assembly line. Now the front axle fluid, um, that on this truck was not terribly low, maybe a quarter quart low. Um, I have seen them up to a half quart low in the front axle, just like the transfer case. Again, please, please make sure if you're gonna be driving your truck hard or, or, or even just driving the truck, I would want the fluids full to properly lubricate the bearings, the gears, everything in there is reliant on that fluid. So do yourself a favor, crawl under your truck. I've got a video that I can throw up here that kind of shows the process of checking and changing fluids. If you, again, have not done that, your truck is going to be low and it's not going to be very happy about it. Um, another thing that I can throw a picture in, uh, transmission cooler line. I have not seen this on a TRX yet. This is the first time I've seen it personally. The transmission cooler lines where they curve around the transmission pan has this really nice plastic wiring or uh, <laughs> hose clip that holds it into the pan. Assembly line worker decided that was not his job that day and just left it next to the transmission. Again, probably not a big deal, right? But what if that transmission line sits there and rubs on the aluminum housing of the transmission? We've got a aluminum line rubbing on an aluminum transmission case. We are going to eventually rub through that thinner aluminum line, dump transmission fluid and leave us stranded on the side of the road. So again, guys, yes, I'm sure I'm nitpicking, but man, it's a, I don't know. It's stuff that I've been watching, seeing, trying to fix on every single truck that's rolled through um, our shop, at least. I can't speak on your dealer's behalf. If you've bought it used, secondhand, whatever, there's just a lot of stuff that I wish I could crawl under each and every one of your guys' trucks and help you look at, take care of, because man, I really do love these trucks. They perform great. Um, it's just small little human error stuff that uh, needs to be caught, checked, corrected, so these things can live a long and happy life. Now, after my huge, or not huge, after my long list of complaints or gripes here with this brand new truck, one thing that I did notice that is pretty exciting, it already has the new lean fix repair service bulletin springs installed on this truck. This is the first TRX that I have seen that already has the springs installed. Now, if you guys have no clue what I'm talking about, your truck is leaning to the driver's side. All of them do it. They are uh, fuel tanks on that side. They all lean. If you take a tape measure, yada, yada. Again, I can link a video up here that explains 
the fix, the repair, it is done through your dealership. It is a service bulletin free of charge to you that the left side springs get replaced with slightly heavier springs to fix the lean. And that's one thing this has. I, I, I'm a TRX owner, so of course I'm looking at spring part numbers on, the tr on a brand new vehicle um, in the shop. But again, like I said, brand new and it does have the service bullets and springs installed. So that is cool because they aren't terribly fun to install. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The front springs are a massive pain. The rear spring, no big deal. So guys, again, not a review. I, I know a lot of talking, no action, but to you new or current TRX owners, um, those are good things to look for. Uh, just crawl under your truck, spend some time, follow the wiring, figure out where everything goes, and uh, yeah, you'll hopefully have a lot better truck because of it. So guys, hopefully you didn't take this as uh, complaining about a brand new truck and what I found. I'm just trying to help you guys out, help us TRX owners out, and hopefully keep these things out getting dirty on, uh, out in the sand. It is a sandblast edition. You probably have to take it out to the sand dunes. Um, but uh, yeah, if you do, don't get stuck like I did. It, it was not fun cleanup. All right, guys, enough talking. Sorry you had to listen to me, see my face instead of the truck. I was blocking the beautiful new Sandblast Edition, but I had to go over some of the stuff I am still finding with these things. So, guys, thanks uh, for hopefully listening through my big, long complaint list. And, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.